Hello there, my fishy friends. My name is Peter, and today I'm going to take you along on a little adventure in the upper Chilliwack River. So this beautiful spot is right where the river empties out of Chilliwack Lake. As you continue downstream, eventually at the White Bridge, it turns into the Vetter River. Same river, different name. Here I was trying to take a selfie with the salmon in the background. Didn't quite work out, but I got lots of nice shots of them for you. So these are Chilliwack Lake sockeye salmon. They're just starting to turn that beautiful red color that sockeye salmon are famous for. Most of these fish will stage here for a few days, and then they continue their journey through Chilliwack Lake and spawn in the tributaries on the far side of the lake. The river picks up speed pretty quickly here. I love the underwater perspective on white water. But I couldn't continue too far downstream because then I would have had a heck of a time swimming back up. So you can see some white marks on a couple of these fish. Those are most likely fishing related injuries. I know most anglers try really hard to make sure none of these fish get accidentally hurt on their way up because we are not actually allowed to retain any of the sockeye salmon. Still, it's a good policy to use the smallest hook you think you can get away with so that these accidental cuts and injuries are as small as possible. It's also good to remember that there is no fishing in this part of the river. There's no fishing at all actually anywhere above Slessy Creek all the way to Chilliwack Lake. I did find a fair bit of fishing gear in here and that's not so nice to see. The little fish in the foreground are coho smolts. Coho salmon spawn in this river and their smolts live for one to two years in the river before heading out to sea. Sockeye salmon are a little bit different. They spawn in the tributaries above the lake and then their smolts live in the lake itself for one to two years. Here they are swimming around in the lake. They make these schools of one to two thousand fish. Their main predators up here are bull trout. Beautiful to see them in such healthy numbers. Like most salmon I encounter, these sockeye are initially a little bit scared of me. They think I might be a sea lion trying to eat them, but they pretty quickly calm down and get used to my presence and then I can get up close and get this beautiful footage for you guys. It's a very tranquil and, and beautiful experience for me. I hope you like it as well. Well, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.